Here comes the proud, majestic, largest living land animal roaming on Earth. But how does it get here? This right here, after many months of waiting, is a fresh baby elephant, a newborn calf. It's ready to be dropped from five feet into a new world. A very exciting event for the whole community. Everyone gathers around and celebrates. With no time, the whole squad will be teaching it how to elephant for at least a decade of its life. But first thing as always, it will be pointed to the nipples. By the way, did you know elephants have breasts on their chest? Now you know. Elephants are classified into three species, two African species and one Asian species. The African savanna, or bush elephant, the largest of the three, can weigh up to 8,000 kilograms and stand between 3 and 4 meters tall at the shoulder. The African forest elephant, smaller in size and found in rainforests, was officially recognized as a distinct species in the year 2000. It is known for its more slender tusks that point downward. The notion of pygmy or water elephants is unfounded. These are likely variations of the African forest elephant. The Asian elephant, which weighs around 5,500 kilograms and reaches up to 3.5 meters in shoulder height, is divided into three subspecies, the Indian, Sumatran, and Sri Lankan elephants. Compared to their African counterparts, Asian elephants have smaller ears as their larger ears in Africa play a key role in regulating body temperature. Let's start with elephant trunks. The elephant's trunk, also known as proboscis, is one of the most versatile and remarkable features among mammals. This organ is unique to the order Proboscidea, which also includes the now extinct mastodons and mammoths. From an anatomical perspective, the trunk is an evolved facial structure, resulting from the fusion of the nose and upper lip. This process begins during fetal development, with early elephants having long, unfused noses. In adults, the trunk can weigh around 130 kilograms, or 290 pounds, and is capable of lifting loads up to 250 kilograms. Despite its size and strength, it is highly flexible, mobile, and sensitive, often functioning almost independently from the rest of the body. Due to the trunk's considerable weight, it places significant strain on the elephant's facial bones. As a result, the skull has evolved to accommodate the attachment of the trunk's complex musculature, leading to a much larger skull compared to other mammals. The trunk is believed to function as a muscular hydrostat, similar to how the human tongue works. Devoid of any joints or bone, the trunk is an appendage made of pure muscle. At first, baby elephants don't really know what to do with their trunks. It's entertaining to watch as they swing them around or occasionally step on them. They will stick their trunk in their mouth just as a human baby might suck its thumb. This is because the anatomy of the trunk is so complex, it's understandably a difficult skill to learn for the young one. But by about six to eight months, calves begin learning to use their trunks to eat and drink. By the time they are a year old, they can control their trunks pretty well, just like adult elephants. The elephant trunk contains 16 primary muscles, with one major muscle group located on the top and sides, responsible for raising the trunk while another covers the bottom. Inside the trunk, there is a highly intricate arrangement of radiating and transverse muscle fibers that allow for precise movements. Cross-sectional studies of the trunk have revealed nearly 150,000 muscle fascicles. The trunk's muscle structure is made up of up to 40,000 muscles compared to the 600 to 700 muscles in the human body. The trunk's complex musculature is controlled by a large facial nucleus containing up to 54,000 motor neurons in Asian elephants and 63,000 in African elephants. This extensive network of nerves makes the trunk highly sensitive. Two proboscidean nerves innervate the trunk, with branches extending to almost every part, especially the tip, which features tactile bristles that help with sensory perception. The trunk's tip also has flap-like projections that enable precise tasks such as picking up a coin or cracking a peanut, blowing away the shell, and eating the kernel. African elephants have two such extremities, one on top and one on the bottom, while Asian elephants have just one. Asian elephants typically curl the tip of their trunk around objects in a grasp technique, while African elephants use a pinch method, similar to how humans use their thumb and index finger. While the African elephant's trunk may be more extendable, the Asian elephant's trunk is likely more agile. Elephants utilize their trunks in a variety of ways, much like a human hand. They use tools by gripping branches to scratch areas that their trunks or tails can't reach. In some cases, they manipulate large branches or even throw objects as part of threat displays. When elephants meet, they may touch each other's faces or intertwine their trunks in a gesture that resembles a human handshake, which can serve as a greeting, a sign of reassurance, or even a way of gauging each other's strength. 
The trunk plays a crucial role in breathing, drinking, and eating. Elephants primarily breathe through their trunks rather than their mouths. To drink, they suck up to 10 liters, about 2.6 gallons, of water into their trunks and then pour it into their mouths. When feeding, they use the tip of their trunk to pluck grasses, leaves, and fruits, bringing them to their mouths. The trunk also helps them collect dust or grass to spray onto their bodies, likely for protection against insects and the sun. In response to perceived threats, elephants may raise and swivel their trunks, using them like an olfactory periscope to sniff the air for potential danger. Talking about smell, elephants possess a sense of smell that is the strongest ever identified in a single species. They have five times more olfactory receptors than humans, and the most of any animal characterized to date. The African elephant's genome contains nearly 2,000 olfactory receptor genes, the largest number of any species. This ability to smell allows them to easily find mates and food, and even detect water sources up to 20 kilometers away. Here is how they communicate. Elephants are capable of producing two main types of vocalizations by adjusting the size of their nostrils as air flows through their trunks. Low-pitched sounds include growls, snorts, roars, and rolling growls while high-pitched sounds feature trumpets, barks, cries, and pulsating trumpets. Yeah, that one exaggerated, but here is another one. Initially thought to be linked to digestive processes, rumbling noises are now understood to be generated by the larynx and resemble the purring of cats. These vocalizations originate in the larynx, aided by a specialized structure known as the pharyngeal pouch. While most mammals have nine bones in their throat that form a box-like hyoid apparatus to support the tongue and voice box, elephants have only five. The gaps between these bones are filled with muscles, tendons, and ligaments, allowing greater flexibility in the larynx and enabling the formation of the pharyngeal pouch behind the tongue. This unique structure helps in producing sound and contains voluntary muscles that transform the pouch into a resonating chamber for low frequency sounds, typically below human hearing range. These calls range from 5 to 24 hertz can be heard by other elephants from distances of up to 4 kilometers. Low frequency sound waves travel through both air and the ground and experiments suggest that elephants can detect these infrasonic calls as seismic waves. Additionally, elephants can generate other sounds by striking their trunks against hard surfaces like the ground, trees, or even their tusks. The pharyngeal pouch in elephants is not only involved in sound production, but is also believed to play a role in carrying water. Observations over the years have shown that on hot days or when water is scarce, elephants often insert their trunks into their mouths, withdraw liquid, and spray it on themselves. While the source of this liquid remained unclear, and despite the pharyngeal pouch being described in the year 1875, two possible sources have been suggested, the stomach or the pouch itself. Stomach contents are acidic and would likely irritate the skin, making the pharyngeal pouch the more plausible source, especially since the liquid often contains small food particles typically found in the pouch rather than digested material from the stomach. Additionally, field studies have shown that elephants can spray themselves while walking or running, which further suggests the liquid is drawn from the pharyngeal pouch, as it would be difficult to extract liquid from the stomach while in motion. The pouch may also assist in regulating heat, particularly in protecting the sensitive area of the brain located just above it. Elephant tusks are elongated incisor teeth composed of ivory. In African elephants, both males and females have tusks, while in Asian elephants, tusks are typically found in males, with females having smaller, thinner tusks if they have them at all. Some male Asian elephants, called muknas, are born without tusks. The size and shape of tusks are hereditary traits. Tusks serve a variety of purposes, including defense, offense, digging, lifting objects, gathering food, and stripping bark from trees. They also provide protection for the sensitive trunk, which is shielded between the tusks during a charge. During droughts, elephants use their tusks, feet, and trunks to dig for water in dry riverbeds. 
Elephants have six sets of cheek teeth, molars and premolars, throughout their lives, but not all of them emerge at once. At birth, an elephant has two or three pairs of cheek teeth in each jaw. New teeth grow from the back and gradually move forward as the older teeth wear down and either fall out or are swallowed. Each new set of teeth becomes progressively larger and heavier, with the final molars reaching up to 40 centimeters in length and weighing over 5 kilograms. After around 60 years of age, only the last four molars or their remnants remain. In some cases, the loss of teeth can lead to starvation and may be a cause of death. So unfortunately, yet it's just what nature demands. Nevertheless, let's talk about elephant skin. An elephant's skin is typically about 2.5 centimeters thick in most areas. The wrinkles and folds in their skin can absorb up to 10 times more water than smooth skin, aiding in their cooling process since elephants do not sweat. Perhaps more surprising than the fact that an elephant's skin can weigh up to 900 kilograms is the fact that it is actually quite sensitive. Elephants are subject to sunburn just like most other hairless mammals. What's more, they have no natural self-generating method of fighting its effects, whereas hippos secrete a sunscreening substance, colloquially called hippo sweat, which scatters ultraviolet light. Elephants are forced to cover themselves in regular dust and mud baths to protect from the sun. Elephants are also vulnerable to insect bites, with certain areas of their skin, such as around their eyes, mouth, behind their ears, and inside their trunk, being particularly sensitive. One method used to deter elephants involves hanging beehives on elevated fences, which are triggered when the elephants knock into them, releasing a swarm. A study of farmers in Sagala, Kenya, revealed that 61% of those interviewed found this method to be more effective than other techniques. Reproduction and Life Cycle Elephants live in small family groups led by older females, known as matriarchs. When food is abundant, these groups may come together. Most male elephants, or bulls, typically form bachelor herds separate from the females. Both males and females have two glands located between the eye and the ear, which secrete a fluid called temperin. However, males experience a condition known as must, during which they produce a thicker, more viscous fluid than when they are not in must. During this time, serum testosterone is higher than in a non-must elephant and their behavior becomes erratic and often uncontrollable, even making them difficult to manage by their handlers. Must, which means intoxicated in Hindi, is the period when males establish their reproductive dominance, which can temporarily override the usual social hierarchy. In the wild, males are typically in peak physical condition during must and are the primary breeders. Elephants have a highly developed sense of smell that allows them to detect each other's reproductive status. Inside their skulls, they have between seven and nine nasal turbinals, which contain specialized tissues for olfaction. In comparison, humans have only three turbinals and dogs have five. When a female is in estrus or a male is in must, elephants can detect the specific hormones in the air. Once these chemical signals are detected, they are sent to the Jacobson's organ, located on the roof of the mouth. This organ then transmits the information to the brain for processing. Elephants can also detect reproductive hormones directly from urine and feces. The gestation period of elephants is the longest of any mammal, lasting between 18 to 22 months. At birth, an elephant stands about 1 meter tall and weighs roughly 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. Newborns nurse from their mother using their mouths, not their trunks, at mammary glands located in the chest. Weaning is a gradual process and can continue until the mother can no longer tolerate the discomfort from her offspring's growing tusks. After weaning, young elephants spend much of their time eating. An adult elephant consumes around 100 kilograms of food and 100 liters, 26 gallons of water daily. And these amounts can increase significantly if the elephant is especially hungry or thirsty. Elephants' large food intake has a major ecological impact as they can alter the environment around them. They strip bark and leaves from trees, uproot trees, trample vegetation, dig for roots, create water holes in dry riverbeds, and disperse seeds over vast distances through their dung. The presence of an elephant herd is unmistakable due to the significant changes they leave in their wake. Their behavior also affects the survival and adaptation of other species in the same ecosystem. 
Elephants reach sexual maturity early in their second decade. African elephants typically mature sexually between the ages of 10 and 12, while Asian elephants do so around 14 years old. At this time, males leave their natal herd and often form small bachelor groups or live alone. In contrast, female elephants stay with their family groups for life. Although they live apart, adult males and females may come together for brief mating or feeding interactions. Here is an elephant brain compared to a human brain. The phrase, an elephant never forgets, is rooted in the elephant's remarkable memory. The temporal lobe, which is responsible for memory, is larger and denser in elephants than in humans. This heightened memory ability is crucial during their seasonal migrations, as elephants rely on their memory to locate water sources along their travel routes. A well-known example of the remarkable memory of elephants is the story depicted in Elephant Walk, a tale that was adapted into a film in the 1940s or early 1950s. This true account revolves around a British colonial villa built across a well-established elephant migration route in India. The elephants, confused and angered by the obstruction, were forced to change their path. Each year, the villa staff had to defend the structure, guiding the herds around it to allow them to continue their migration. Ultimately, the elephants could no longer be deterred. In a final act of frustration, they charged through the villa, destroying it and causing numerous casualties, ultimately restoring their traditional migration routes. In addition to this, elephants have been observed creating intricate drawings and diagrams, further highlighting their ability to use tools. Hello! Elephants also form strong bonds with both humans and other elephants, remembering individuals from their species or human companions even after many years apart. A study of captive Asian elephants even indicated that they can recognize themselves in a mirror, a skill shared by only a few other non-human species. Although elephants cannot jump or gallop, they can run at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Their feet are specially adapted to support their immense weight with a raised heel and a thick, fatty, fibrous wedge of tissue beneath it covered by tough skin. Due to their size and strength and because they live in social groups, elephants have few natural predators. However, lions, hyenas, and crocodiles may attempt to prey on young, sick, or vulnerable elephants. Elephants are generally effective at defending themselves, protecting their young, and guarding injured herd members. For instance, when a matriarch senses danger, she will gather the young, and all the adult females in the group will form a protective circle around them, creating multiple layers of defense against predators. The greatest threat to elephants, however, comes from humans. Have you ever asked yourself, given the big mass and body of elephants, do they sleep? Here is the answer. Elephants do not find it easy to lie down and get up, and they typically sleep lying down for about three to four hours at night. While standing, they may doze briefly but do not experience deep sleep. In captivity, elephants can live for up to 80 years, while those in the wild tend to live to around 60. The idea of elephant graveyards, where elephants supposedly gather to die, is a myth and lacks evidence. 